Hello, my name is Mr. Dog, and welcome back to another expanded deck showcase. Today, we're going to be looking at ADP Dragonite. So, what we're going to do with this deck is attach double dragon energy to ADP, do altered creation GX, which means our Pokemon will do 30 more damage and will take extra prize cards with each knockout. And then we want to power up our Dragonite. Normally, we do 250 damage, but because we've used ADP's altered creation, we do 280 damage. We do do 20 damage to all of our bench Pokemon, but we can stop that if we use Mr. Mime, which prevents all damage done to our bench Pokemon. We also use the Aurora GX, which lets all of our Pokemon that have any Lightning Energy attached have no retreat cost. And this also includes Double Dragon Energy, because Double Dragon counts as every single type of energy. To help us accelerate energy, we're going to be using 4 Max Elixirs and 1 copy of Tapu Koko Prism Star. We also play 2 copies of Fighting Fury Belt, which gives us 40 more health and 10 more damage. This is mostly useful for the mirror matchup. As I mentioned earlier, Dragonite can do 280 damage, which is exactly enough to knock out our ADP. However, if we've got a Fighting Fury Belt on our ADP, the Dragonite will not be able to knock us out. This is very important, as the Dragonite decks are very, very common and expanded at the minute. Okay, so I'm going to keep the introduction short and sweet. Let's get into some gameplay. Okay, so we're playing against Suicane. Um So I need to be careful about how many bench Pokemon I put down, because it does more damage for the more bench Pokemon you have. So I'll do this, and this, and we'll be discard this because I have a second ADP, and also this because I need to get some energy in the discard pile so I can use Tapu Koko at some point. Get one of one of these, another one of these, and this. And we'll put the, the stadium down because then they have to discard some of their Pokemon because I got rid of their Skyfield. I'll probably discard one of the, I'll probably a Dedenne or a Crobat. Yeah, okay. Um, so then I'll get an ADP down. And then I'll retreat so I can do my altered creation at GX. So if they don't find another Skyfield, they're not going to do very much damage at all. Which is good for us. Um, so yeah. If they get 8 Pokemon down... Um, they can do 160 plus 20, 180, and I've got one down. So they can only do 200 damage, which just isn't a lot, to be honest. It's only two hitting my Pokemon. They, they do get another Skyfield. See what they get. A Juniper. They've got a load of Full Arts and Gold and Secret Rares, which is nice. Discard an Inteleon, which is pretty bad. Dive Ball. I'd, I really, I'd really like a Guzma right now. Just to kill their, their Tapu or their Crobat. Another Suicane. Aqua Patch. Okay, so they're getting, setting up, getting set up pretty darn fast. Okay, but they're not doing that much damage at the minute. So unfortunately I can't... Actually, I, I could get the knockout. If I land this, I can. Um, so, come on. I believe... I'm, oh, for goodness sake, I could have got the knockout. Because I could have attached this. Um, what I'm going to try and do is... I'm going to try and find another Max Elixir. I, I might as well put this down. Uh, I'll put this down. It's kind of bad in the way, because they'll discard their Tapu and the Crobat. Which I kind of want to Goozer on too, but... Yeah... It kind of hurts them because I'll have fewer Pokemon in play, and then I'll I'll profess his research. So I just need to find a Max Elixir. Oh man, okay, this is going badly. I've got a Dedenne here or Crobat. Actually, no, I, I could just I'm an idiot. I can just Tapu Lele Coco. Um, Tapu Lele Tapu Coco. I get mixed up. Um, so it. It doesn't matter that I'm placing this down, because I can just get rid of it off the bench with the, the ability, which is nice. So put this on here. And I have free retreat because of the Zerora. And I'll attack with Dragon Gale. Free prize cards. So best case scenario for them is, I think, is that if they boss that this... Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. A 
see what happens. Can they find another sky field? Because that's the only way they're going to knock out this Dragonite. Okay, they do find another sky field. That's that third one. Been pretty lucky with that. A Keldeo, okay. So I can actually knock out that with ADP. It might might have been a bit of a mistake playing that, to be honest. I wouldn't have done so personally. So I can just goosem it up. So they they probably are gonna get the knockout on this um Dragonite 10 Pokemon. Or are they just short? No, I think they're doing 220 damage. I think. Which is a bit rough. Unless they have something like a muscle band. A Parancom, another sweet game, but that's not really going to be helpful. Yeah, so the 10 short, that feels really bad. So we'll give the opponent a well played, and then we'll take the knockout of Dragon Gale. It was a fun deck to play against. This is actually a pretty good hand. Um, I just need to find a float stone. Uh, can we get it, please? Okay, no, we can't. We take this. That seems fine. Um, just in case we needed a Denny or something. Um, and we'll get a Guzma and Haller off this and an ADP. Boom, boom. One of the ADPs is prized, but it doesn't matter because we only need one. So, um... I'll get rid of, probably get rid of one quick ball and the Stormy Mountain. That seems fine to me. And we'll get one of these, one of these, and one of these. Uh, yeah. So attach to here so we can retreat. And we'll just get a very early Altered Creation GX off. Which is why we want to go second. Because I don't want to do it on the second time. We want to get it off as soon as possible. So I, I don't really understand what deck we're playing against, to be honest. I've never seen it before. And do they not realise that they can't use recycle energy on Zacian? Because it's metal energies, it needs not colourless. Okay, so they can prevent damage I do to it. Why, why do they attach to this Pokemon though? I don't get that. Maybe to try and retreat it? Like hard retreat it? I, I don't even know. Um, it's not actually a bad hand in all fairness. I wish I had like a supporter or something. So they're going to get try and get special hinges onto this Whimsicott, Whimsicott so they can do more damage. So that makes sense. Um, what the heck? This is a really weird hand. Um, I might as well put this down. And I'm going to try and pin out my hand a little bit, pin out my deck a little bit by seeing if we get some energies. Okay. So put that on here. Uh, put this on here. So the funny thing is I could have two Powered up Dragonites by the end of this. It looks like I will. So I'll put this on the ADP. Sadly, we don't have a Guzma to boss up one of these guys. So I could take free prize cards. But hey, damage is damage at the end of the day. So boom, boom, boom. Power up the second Dragonite. And I hope I get a decent top deck. Although I can pretty much almost knock out anything. I, I, I might just retreat into a Dragonite next turn, maybe. Because I don't really need this ADP anymore. If I can just get a Guzma as well, I can, I can bypass these guys so I don't have to flip any coins to do any damage. So just going to get... She's just going to get energies on the Whimsicots. Whimsicots. I, I always say that wrong for some reason. Ah, okay. Going through her deck pretty fast. 
I see. How many special energies? Actually, not very many special energies. Uh, what is that? Wonder energy. I don't really see that very often because I don't see many fairy decks these days. It's going to do a fair bit of damage because I think it's going to knock this out, actually, which is unfortunate. Because we have weakness to fairy. I hope she doesn't actually win this. Uh, I guess we will send this one up. I just need a Guzma, really. I will thin out my deck, though. It's that Marnie that she played that really messed me up. Alright, so here goes nothing. Oh, okay. I thought Tails was bad, but yeah, Tails is good for us. So we don't have the Mr. Mime, so unfortunately we do 20 damage to our bench. Hopefully we get some decent prize cards. No, we do not. What's this one? Okay, yeah, okay, that, I'm happy with that. We can win next turn. As long as we don't get Marnied again. Ah, uh, probably won't do it. She probably won't do enough to kill me. This is an interesting deck, though. I, I kind of like it. It's probably not very competitive, but it's still pretty cool. Because I, I, you can just, like, get around it really easily with Guzma or Boss's Orders or Escape Rope, that, that kind of thing. If there was no gusting, it'd be pretty powerful. Eldegoss. This seems like a standard deck. Why not V-Seeker? Uh, wow, that's that's an old card. Jeez. So, one, four, five, six, seven. She probably will knock this out, actually. If she gets one, yeah, okay, she's going to knock it out. It's actually a surprisingly close game. For a deck I just roasted. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to boss up the Dene and win the game. Boom. I'll take the last three prize cards. GG. That's harder than I expected. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do love this Dragonite deck. It's one of the best decks and expanded at the minute, along with um, Volcarona V. Please do remember to like, comment and subscribe because it will help boost my channel for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you for the next deck showcase, hopefully soon. Bye!